Hi, I'm Daniel. Today I want to talk to you about the average cost to run an electric space heater. To do that, I have compiled a huge list of 21 different space heaters and I've gone through each of them and calculated the average space heater. What I found was that nearly every space heater needs about 1.5 kilowatts of power to run. So the quick answer is that a normal space heater with 1500 watts costs about $43 to run each month. For my calculation I assumed that you run the space heater for 8 hours every day and that you have a 1500 watt space heater. If you have a space heater like me, this one is not 1500 watts, this is an 800 watt space heater, you would accordingly decrease the cost because the cost to run a space heater depend entirely on the time you run it, on the electricity rate in your area and on the power rating of your space heater. So this is an 800 watt space heater which is about 50 to 60 percent of the 1500 watt space heaters. If you have an 800 watt space heater as well or a 750 watt space heater you can simply take the cost of an 1500 watt space heater and then divide that by two so you get the average cost of your personal space heater. Now, depending on the electricity rate in your area, your space heater costs may vary. For example, if you live in Hawaii, which is the US state with the highest space heater cost, you would, you would pay about three times that price. Because in, in Hawaii, the electricity rate is three times as high. So the average electricity cost in the US is at about 12 cents per kilowatt hour, where, whereas in Hawaii the cost is at about 30 cents per kilowatt hour. So that would increase your price as well. And the third metric or parameter that defines how much your, how much your space heater costs to run is the time you use it. So I based my calculations on running it for 8 hours every day. But if you don't want to use your space heater for 8 hours every day, for example, you can simply turn it off and cycle the heat. So some people like to turn your, their space heaters off and then wait for a few minutes and turn it back on for an hour, then turn it back off. So they do that to keep their heat stable. Because of that heat cycling, they uh, decrease the total amount of time their space heater runs and accordingly if you decrease the time your space heater runs you also save money let me turn mine back on because it's pretty cold here <laughs> i'm sure that you want to know how much exactly your space heater will cost you and here's a three-step formula you can use to find out exactly how much your space heater costs you so the first thing you have to find out out is the amount of power it consumes. Most space heaters use 1500 watts of power, whereas others, smaller space heaters, use less. You can mostly find the power on the packaging of your space heater, so that's actually no problem. And if you don't have the packaging anymore, then you can simply look up your space heater online. You can find it on Amazon or on other online stores. If you have your power rating of your space heater, then you can go ahead and find your personal electricity rate in your state. The best way to find it is to look up your last electricity bill and just check what your rating is. Usually it's around 12 cents per kilowatt hour. Depending on the state, it can go up to 20 or even 30 cents per kilowatt hour. But you have to find it out. To find out the average electricity rate in your state, you can simply go to my website heatertips.com slash cost and I've included an infographic there where you can simply look up your state and which tells you exactly how much the average cost in your state is for electricity. Usually you find something around 10 or 20 cents per kilowatt hour and you can use that number for later. So up until now we have the power rating of your space heater and the electricity cost. So the next thing you need to know is 
how much are you going to use your space heater? Obviously, the more you use your space heater, the more expensive it will get. And if you want to save money, accordingly, you have to decrease your usage. If you use your space heater for eight hours every day, you can simply use the lookup table in my, on my website on heatertips.com slash cost and you will find 21 models of space, different space heater types and you can simply look up a space heater that is similar, similar to yours or maybe you will even find your model. And uh, I've included the most popular models, maybe you'll find yours, yeah, there's a good chance you'll find yours. Once you have set the amount of time you want to use it each day, let's say you're going to use it for four hours each day, you can just assume any number that you want. You can simply calculate the cost for your space heater for each day. So the space heater, I have to look it up, sorry. <laughs> the space heater electricity cost per hour equals the electricity cost in your state times the power your, electric your space heater uses divided by 1000. So you multiply your electricity rates times the power in watts, for example 12 cents multiplied by 1500 watts and you divide that result by 1000 and that result is the cost per hour of your space heater. Now if you want to use your space heater for four hours every day then you can just multiply that value by four and you get the cost to run your space heater for four hours. If you want to run it for four hours every day for 30 days, you can take that result and multiply it by 30 to get the monthly space heater cost to run it. So it's actually pretty easy. Again, the space heater cost to run your space heater per hour is the electricity rate times the power of your space heater divided by 1000. It's as easy as that. Actually, it's pretty easy. I'll show you the formula right below so you can easily check back. Now this is an important point. Electricity cost does not really tell you that much about your space heater. Now if you think about it, electricity cost is not, all, it's not the only thing that really matters. The important thing is electricity cost, but also how much heat you get for your electricity costs. Obviously you want to get, get as much heat per cost as possible. And to maximize your heat per cost, you have to pick the right space heater. Usually infrared heaters, as this one, are 40% more efficient than other types of heaters. So if you picked another type of heater, let's say an oil-filled an oil -filled radiator, then uh, an infrared heater would be 40% more efficient, which would mean it would be would produce 40% more heat than an oil heater. That's a common result of scientific research that infrared heaters are more efficient than other types of heaters, but, but in my personal opinion um, what also matters is what you use your space heater for. For example, an infrared heater will heat the objects right in front of it. I'm sitting next to it right now and I'm barely feeling any heat except here on my leg because it faces my leg. So infrared heaters are good for directional heat. They, they heat just the objects in front of them. Whereas other types of heaters, for example oil-filled radiators, are distributing the heat in all directions. So infrared heaters are good at heating just small spots in a room. For example, if you are working in an uninsulated garage and you want to heat just yourself or just a small part of your workshop, but if you want to heat a whole room that's of a bigger size, then you would need... then actually using an oil-filled radiator is much better regarding efficiency. Okay, so to summarize this whole video, the short answer was that a space heater of about 1500 watts costs you about $43 per month to run. Whereas if you use a space heater that has less power or you run it for less than 8 hours a day, then your costs may vary from that. You can find exactly how much a space heater will cost you on the link below. 
if you just type in heatertips.com slash cost, it's an exact tutorial step by step on how to calculate your own uh, space heater costs. If this video helped you choosing whether you should get a space heater or whether you should rather use your regular central heating, then please push the like button and comment and subscribe to this channel because more of that will follow. Thanks for watching, see you next time.